In this video, we're going to show three different methods to refill LC-101 and LC-103 cartridges. The brother has a straightforward way of checking cartridges. First, it checks if a cartridge chip exists. If the chip passes the test, it will ask you, did you change the cartridge? If we have a non-working chip, we can simply say no then the printer will go on using the previous cartridge's information. Otherwise, the printer will read a chip and determine the ink level. The printer detects ink level from these windows. The printer shines a light on the window and uh, sees the position of the black plastic. Thus, refilling is pretty simple. We already have a working cartridge with a chip, and then the only thing we need to do is to add in. Let's take a look inside the cartridge. There's a bladder which controls the black piece. When you have inks inside, the bladder will float and block the light from the window. On the bottom is the ink all light. The all light has a spring-loaded valve. When we inject ink, we'll use a tool to push the spring inside and release the ink. On the top, there's an air release valve. When you push it, the air can come in and out. The easiest way to refill is to use a plastic adapter, uh, also called a, a quick ink transfer tools, available at bchtechnologies.com. We fill up the syringe with the ink, then push the needle inside the valve and point the needle sideways. The pressure will be high inside the cartridge, so we need to press the air valve a few times to release the air. We use a paper towel wrap around the pen. The paper towel will catch any ink discharge. Now we move on to the second method. What if we don't have an adapter, but we have a regular needle? Then we can just use it like an uh, adapter and re repeat the same routine. We inject ink from the bottom and release the air from the top. In the third situation, we have neither adapter nor needle. Instead, we have a 30 ml bottle look like this. We started by taking away the transparent casing. We save this casing for later use to reseal the container. From an angle, we cut off the tip of the black plug. Now, this black plug can be used as an adapter Finally, we put the casing back and complete the project. If you have a BCH standard bottle, you won't need any of those tools. We use a pair of scissors to cut a little opening on the top. And then, we push the tip inside the wall and then refill the cartridge.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or local at Greensboro, North Carolina. Happy printing! Cheers!